Hey, welcome back. This week, we're talking about templates and how you create them, export them and save them, both for entire session templates and also for effect rack templates as well. Welcome back to David Talking Tech and Audio, as I do every week. If you subscribe, thank you very much indeed. And if you haven't yet subscribed, you know what to do. While you're there, give me a like. Really helps me in the channel out. And also turn on all notifications so you never miss another video. So the first question you're probably asking yourself is why bother setting up a template? Firstly, they are very quick to set up. And the main thing they do is bring consistency to your workflow and speed to your workflow as well. So there are two kinds of templates we're going to be setting up, one for an entire session on a multi-track session. I'll show you how to export that as a session template so you can come back to it week after week, month after month. And the other kind of uh, template we're going to be talking about is in the effects rack. So for instance, the audio that you're listening to now, I'm recording in the waveform in Adobe Audition. And each and every week I take this audio before I go in near Premiere Pro and I've got an effects rack template that I leave set up so that we've got the basic de-essing, compression, and various bits like that that are set up every week. So the audio you hear is the same. So hopefully you've already witnessed what a, what a template can do. Uh, and they I say they're very, very quick to set up. They're one of these things that once you've done them, they're there for good, and you can create them for whatever project you've got in mind. So now you understand the benefits of templates, I think it's time we jump into Adobe Audition and take a look at how we set them up, export them, and save them. So here we are once again back inside of Adobe Audition and we're talking templates, how to build them, how to save them. Let's bring in a little bit of audio here first of all and work in the destructive waveform. So if you had this bit of audio and you wanted to build yourself an effects rack template to save and use again, make sure you're in the effects rack, bring in the effects that you want to use. So let's say we bring in a bit of de -esser. Let's say we bring in a little bit of compression. These are just examples clearly. And let's say we bring in some noise reduction from Waves with the NS1 plugin. As you know, I'm a big Waves plugin lover. So there we go. We've got the effects we want in there. But the key here is that you want to be able to save this and come back to it every time. Because let's say you'd set up your DS very carefully for your voice. You don't want to have to do that every time. The same with the compression and the noise reduction. You've gone through, set those all up so they're perfect for your environment and your voice. This is where templates work so well. So now you would go into this button here, save effects rack as a preset. If we call this test two, because I've got some other tests in there, save it. If I now pull out of here, come into one of the other pre-built rack effects, but going down, find test two. There you go. It pulls it straight back in, ready for you to use and apply to your audio every time with exactly the same settings, which is how I work for these videos. So if I go into my effects racks and look for lav mic, because I currently currently record the audio for these videos via lav mic, there you go. You can see I've got some de-essing going on, some denoising going on, a little bit of de reverbing, although this room is sound treated by Art Novi and sound treatment. A little bit of the uh, noise reduction from waves that you saw a moment ago, the NS1 plugin a parametric EQ, and we've got some compression going on. Then if I hit apply, you'll see how the waveform changes. And we are ready now to save that out and go take that over to Premiere Pro to begin working on the video. So that's how you work in the destructive waveform, build yourself an effects rack template and save it out ready for future use. Let me just close that down. Now let's begin looking at multi-track sessions. They're a bit more complex, but equally great fun. There are some native ones built into Adobe Audition when you begin using it. So if you open up a new multi-track session and there it will come through saying none. But for instance, there's a DJ drop one. If we just open that, you'll see Adobe have put in various things in here ready for you to use to begin making a DJ drop. And that in essence is how we go about creating a session of our own. So let me just show you that. I'll close that one. We'll open up a new session. We'll put it in downloads. We'll have none because we're going to build our own template here. I can leave that at 4800 for now, stereo. And all you would simply do is by clicking in this box, you can title them, jingle. And then if I say David, and if I was to say guest, this is how you title your tracks up, and music. Then this is where the beauty comes in. So let's say on my voice, I wanted to have, as we did before, we wanted to have some de-essing uh, and we wanted to have, let's say, some uh, compression on there. And then on one of the music tracks, you might decide just by clicking on the track in question, brings it to the effects rack that you would need to use. You could put in there, oh, let's just put in some modulation. So once you've built up on each of these tracks, 
all the effects that you want, the sends, everything, the inputs. This is the beauty of it. You can now save this out as a template to use in future. And the way you go about doing that is slightly different, but you go up to File, Export, and then it's Session as Template. If we call this David's Test, that shows you the extension where the session will be saved. And yes, you want to include markers because often in a multi-track session, you'll be doing markers. So we've got David's test as a template now. OK, so if I just come out of that session and we'll bring up a brand new session, it says none at the moment, but down there now you will have David's test. And if we bring that in, open it up, your session with all of the effects you've got on these tracks is ready for you to use time and time again for speed and consistency in your workflow. So that is how you set up, use, save and export templates within Adobe Audition, both in the waveform and in the multi-track session. So there you go. It is as simple as that. Templates in Adobe Audition. You can set up templates for your multi-track sessions or for your effects rack, and it'll bring you that consistency and make your audio sound as good as that of a pro. And that's what we're trying to do here on this channel help your audio sound fantastic. If you've used a template or set a template up, I'd love to know what you put in it. And also, why don't you let me hear what you've created and exported out of a session template? I'll leave a link in the show notes for this video to a simple drag and drop on my website so you can pop over your audio and I can take a listen to it. I'd love to hear what you've created. And while you're there, don't forget, why don't you drop me a like, turn on the subscriptions, and also make sure all notifications are turned on so that you don't miss another video. We've got some great videos planned in Premiere Pro and about Adobe Audition. And if you've got a few minutes spare and you're an audio file, you may just enjoy a video that I uploaded recently about sidechain compression. That's right, the thing that everybody runs scared from. Well, we made it very, very simple and showed you how you can set up a sidechain compressor once and have it set forever. So why don't you go and take a look at that? But as ever, thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one.